Welcome, boys and girls. Today, we're going to talk about the four great inventions from ancient China. The compass, gunpowder, paper, and woodblock printing. These inventions all originated in China and went on to change the world. And they didn't just advance ancient technology. Each of these inventions caused a major cultural shift across the globe and still impact our world today. So let's find our way to the compass first. <laughs> Get it? The magnetic compass was invented in China sometime between 200 BCE and 100 CE. The earliest versions were made from lodestones, which are natural magnets that find the Earth's magnetic north and south poles when they're placed in water or on a smooth surface. But these early compasses were not used for navigation. They were used for feng shui, a practice that the Chinese used to decide which directions to place buildings. Now, before compasses, sailors had to rely on other methods that were less accurate and way more difficult. The earliest sailors kept close to the coast and used landmarks like familiar rocks and trees. When they had to sail across open seas, they used the position of the sun and the stars to guide them. Polynesian people looked at waves and the wind for clues. The Greeks and Italians developed charts and directions based on memory and experience. And the Vikings even studied the behavior of birds flying overhead to tell which direction land was in. But these methods all required a lot of practice and memorization, and a lot of knowledge to pass on from master sailors to students. And even if you know it all, what do you do if a storm turns your ship around, or the sky is overcast so you can't see the sun or the stars, or it's so foggy that you can't see if there's land nearby, or if there are no birds flying overhead for days at a time? The compass solved these problems. It could be used in all types of weather and at any time of the day. It was small and easy to carry and it didn't require much training to use. Sailors could now tell at all times which direction they were headed. The compass spread from China to Europe and the rest of the world and this simple device revolutionized navigation. It was one of the key tools used during the Age of Discovery, a period in which Christopher Columbus and Hernan Cortes sailed to the Americas. Vasco da Gama established the trade sea route to India, and Magellan became the first recorded person to sail around the world. Okay, now let's talk about something more explosive. The first explosive ever invented, gunpowder. For over a thousand years, gunpowder was used to make bombs, ammunition for guns, and even fireworks. Gunpowder is referred to in Chinese writings as early as the second century CE, and the story goes that sometime between 200 and 700 CE, alchemists in China created gunpowder while they were searching for a potion that would make them live forever. And sometime between drinking it and not living forever, they realized just how flammable it was because it burnt their hands and their faces and even burned down their houses and their laboratories. But it was not until the 10th century CE that gunpowder began to be used to make weapons starting with Chinese fire arrows, which were regular arrows with sacks of gunpowder tied to them that were lit on fire and then shot. Over the years, the fire arrows turned into rockets, which were arrows propelled by gunpowder and could fly as far as a mile and a half. Gunpowder was soon used to make bombs and cannonballs and ammunition for siege weapons and eventually led to the invention of guns of all shapes and sizes. And it had some non-weaponry uses too, it was used to propel and explode fireworks as a blasting powder to clear mines and construct roads and even in power tools. Now, since the late 19th century, gunpowder has largely been replaced by something called smokeless powder, and its use is mostly faded now. But for over a thousand years, the Chinese invention of gunpowder ruled the world and left a lasting impact on how we live our lives. Okay, let's talk about paper and woodblock printing now. Now, it's hard to imagine a world without paper, even in an increasingly digital world. And like gunpowder and the compass, historical record points to it all having started in China. Paper was invented roughly between 200 BCE and 100 CE. At the time, it was made from tree bark, old fishing nets, cloth rags, and other plant fibers. And while paper was used for writing as early as the 3rd century CE, it was also used to wrap fragile items, to store tea, and the ancient Chinese even used toilet paper as early as the 6th century. Talk about important inventions. Before the invention of paper, 
societies had oral traditions where stories, ideas, and histories were spoken from person to person and passed down through generations. And if you've ever listened to someone tell you a story, you know that it's not always the most accurate way to keep track of history. It relies on memory, and stories can easily be exaggerated or misunderstood over time, like an ancient game of telephone. When ancient civilizations did start writing, they carved messages on clay tablets and wood blocks, which took a long time and created these heavy objects that couldn't really be easily carried from one place to another. Imagine even a short book written on tablets. It would require a horse cart to take from place to place. The Chinese used silk, which was expensive, or bones, which were again too heavy. The Egyptians used papyrus starting about 3000 BCE, which is similar to paper because it was made from the papyrus plant, but unlike paper, papyrus was tough to fold or roll without cracking, and it also didn't hold up well the moisture or dryness. Europeans used parchment made from animal skins, but this required butchering animals every time you needed to write. Paper solved many of these problems. It relied on raw materials that were inexpensive and easy to find. It could be folded or rolled without being damaged. It was light and could be carried around easily. Over the years, it came to be used for not just writing, but as money, for packaging, cleaning, for art, and yes, toilet paper, among other things. Think of how many ways we still use paper. But there was another invention that helped the rise of paper, and this invention was printing. Okay, not that kind of printing, at least not yet. Now, paper is important, but imagine having to handwrite everything. It would be so much work, and this is where printing comes in. The first instance of printing comes from China, where scribes used carved wooden blocks that were dipped in ink and then pressed on paper or cloth to create images and letters, much like the stamps you probably use today. Chinese woodblock printing inspired German inventor Johannes Gutenberg, who invented the printing press, which used a movable type to print pages nearly a hundred times faster than hand printing. And this started the printing revolution. Now, printing made it easy to mass produce books, and the use of paper made it easy to transport these books over long distances. And this powerful combination made knowledge accessible to all people, and it promoted literacy. It allowed societies to more effectively record their information and histories. Storytellers could create their stories for people all over to enjoy, and scientists could record their research for students and future scientists, who could then build upon this research and come up with new ideas of their own. And this is how the combination of paper and printing, which originated in China, revolutionized the way we learned and recorded our knowledge and histories. And now you know all about the four great Chinese inventions and how they changed the world and all of our lives. Thanks for watching.